Is our Chinna there yet? Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj. Is our Chinna come online yet? I don't think so, huh? I'm waiting for Archana to come. She's supposed to translate. <laughs> Everybody's there except Archana. <laughs> uh, Guru Maharaj, I think you have to unmute Guru Maharaj. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right, sorry, yeah. Yeah, I'm saying everybody's there except Archana. I don't know what happened to Archana. Uh, yes, yes, Guru Maharaj, she's uh, just uh, leaving that meeting, informing uh, these uh, Thai people about this new uh, Zoom ID and she's coming, Guru Maharaj, sorry. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, she's, uh, I'll, yes, Guru Maharaj, sorry about it. <laughs> Thank you, Vaishnavi. I wondered what she was doing. No, 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 Guru Maharaj. Just, uh, I don't know why this uh, Archana's meeting ID didn't work this time. Did you have a yeah. problem with it also? No, I because I have a Zoom account, Guru Maharaj, uh, it's the, I, I don't face the same problem. But one of the devotees told that she had a problem with the link. Yeah. Ashana Mataji has joined. Okay, good. Om Magyana Timarandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chaksur Militanyena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Panchakaupata Rubyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhayevacha Patitanam Pavanibhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Nama Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Shemati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namane Namaste Sarasati Devi Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Paschacha Desatarine Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasari Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So we're reading chapter 13 of the Krishna book. It's entitled Brahma Steals the Boys and the Calves. So in the previous chapter, we heard about the, 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 how Krishna killed the demon Agasura, but it was told that this was not discussed in Vrindavan until for, it took one year before the people in Vrindavan heard about it. So when, because this is, this story is being told by Sukadeva Goswami, he's talking to Maharaj Parikshit, and Maharaj Parikshit, when he heard that it was one year before they talked about the death of Agasura, he was very surprised. And he asked, why did it take so long? So when Sukadeva Goswami heard this inquiry, he was very happy because he understood Maharaj Parikshit was very interested, very eager to hear about Krishna's pastime. When we hear about material things, we soon become tired of hearing these things. But when we hear about spiritual pastime, about the activities of Lord Krishna, we can hear the same pastimes again and again. They become more and more pleasurable. 
พราะฉะนั้นถ้าเกิดว่าเราเนี่ยได้ยินเรื่องราวทางวัตถุใช่ไหมคะเราไม่สามารถฟังมันซ้ำๆได้เราจะเกิดความเบื่อหน่ายแต่มันต่างกันนะคะเรื่องราวลีลาของพระเจ้าเนี่ยไม่ว่าเราจะฟังซ้ำสักกี่รอบเนี่ยมันก็ยังสดใหม่อยู่เสมอ So it was described that when Krishna killed the demon Agasura, Lord, all the demigods were watching, and Lord Brahma had also come, and he was very surprised to see the power of Krishna that he could kill such a big demon. So Lord Krishna was in the forest in Vrindavan with all the cowherd boys, and they were taking care of the young cows, all the calves. That's the the system is the young boys take care of the the calves and the men take care of the old cows, the older cows. We just celebrated the, there was a festival in, during the month of Karti, Gopastami, and that's the day when Krishna. A graduates from taking care of the calves, he starts taking care of the cows. So Krishna, Lord Krishna was in the forest with all the cowherd boys, and they would take their lunch there. They would carry. A tiffin from their homes. Each of the boys would bring their own lunch, and it came time for taking the lunch. Lord Krishna said, "Let's sit here by the bank of the Yamuna and take our lunch." And the Krishna book describes the beauty of the Yamuna. How there were lotus flowers growing in the in the in the in the Yamuna River, and there was the fragrance of the lotus flowers, and there were many birds, beautiful birds making sounds. There were cuckoos and parrots and peacocks. มีดอกบัวสวยงามนะคะมีเสียงนกร้องมีนกยุงร้องกัน So Krishna said if we sit by the bank of the Yamuna then the cows they can also drink water from the Yamuna and there's some nice grasses here for the cows to eat and we will take our lunch so all the cowherd boys were happy they all agreed to sit there So the coward boys, when they would take lunch, Lord Krishna would sit in the center, and they would all sit round him in a big circle, and they would all sit and eat together, and they would have, you know, they joke with each other because they're. Young boys, and they, you know, they like to play around. Sometimes a bumblebee would come. A big bee would come, and Lord Krishna would say, "Oh, look, this bee is going to come, and if he if he stings this if he stings my Brahmana friend, Madhu Mangal." Then he will die, and the bee will kill a brahmin. It's very sinful. So don't bite our brahmin, a friend. So 
So the boys were sitting there taking their lunch and joking with each other, enjoying their company. But then they noticed that the, the cows had disappeared. The cows had gone off looking for longer, more grass. But Lord Krishna was sitting there taking his prasadam with the, all the cowherd boys. And Lord Krishna, it describes how Lord Krishna was eating rice and yogurt with butter. And there was some fruit also mixed in. And Lord Krishna, he's the Supreme Personality of Godhead, but he's sitting there with his hands all rice and yogurt, and the demigods are in heaven, they're watching, and Lord Brahma is also watching, they're seeing this is the Supreme Lord, and he's playing like a little boy, eating this rice and yogurt. So it was, it was bewildering to the minds of great demigods to see that the Supreme Personality of Godhead could appear in this way and be happy and be satisfied just to be in the forests of Vrindavan and to be sitting eating his food like this. Of course, all of these boys were, were very special boys. They had uh, performed pious activities for many lifetimes to be able to join Krishna's pastimes. So when they saw that the calves had disappeared, they'd gone out of sight, then the boys became worried that what happened to them, where did they go? So they, then they all thought of Krishna. Because whenever there's any problem, they always think of Krishna. And as soon as they remember Krishna, then they don't feel fear anymore. So this is very important. So they were worried about the calves, what to do, where the calves. So Krishna said, don't worry. He said, you take your lunch and I'll go and find the calves for myself. You continue, you sit here, you stay here and take your food and I'll go and look for the calves and I'll bring them back. So Krishna went looking and he looked everywhere. He looked in the forests and he looked in the mountain caves, and, but he couldn't find the calves. So Lord Krishna, of course Lord Krishna knows everything, he could understand this must be the trick, maybe this is the trick of Brahma, that Brahma is playing some trick here. So 
Because Brahma had seen, he saw Krishna how that he was he could kill the demon Agasura, so he thought he thought let me see some more of Lord Krishna's pastimes. Let's see how he reacts when I take away all the calves. So Lord Brahma not only took away the calves, but he took away all Krishna's cowherd boyfriends as well, all the gopas. They were also taken away because Krishna had left them to go and look for the cow, the calves. And when he left them, that time Brahma took, he'd taken the calves and then he took all the cowherd boys. So, Lord Krishna, you know, he pretends that he's confused he, he, because he's playing the part of a young boy, small boy, and he, and he thinks, oh, where have all the calves have gone? And then all my friends have also gone. So he's left all alone there in the forest. And of course Krishna knew everything had been taken by Brahma. So Lord Krishna thought, I can't go back to Vrindavan alone. If I go back alone, then all the other gopas, all the mothers of the, the cowherd boys will be very broken hearted that their son has not come home. And, and, and if I go back, I, I don't have any calves. They'll, they'll, they'll wonder how I could lose all the calves as well. So Lord, so Lord Krishna decided he would expand himself to take the place of all the cowherd boys and all the calves. And by his mystic potency, he could exactly re resemble the features of each and every one of the cowherd boys and each and every one of the calves. And so Lord Krishna actually performed this pastime for the pleasure of his devotees, all the cowherd ladies there in Vrindavan. All the cowherd ladies in Vrindavan, they all love Krishna. They had their own sons, but they all love Krishna as well. Oh, and they thought, if Krishna was my son, I could love him, I could love him just like Yashoda loves Krishna. I could also love Krishna just like Yashoda. So Krishna expands himself and he took the place of all the cowherd boys and they went back to Vrindavan and Krishna is playing the part of each and all the cowherd boys and he goes to all the different homes. 
He goes like he's, he, like he's the son. He's their son. Come home. And when the cowherd ladies see their son come home, then they pick him up and they embrace him and they feed their breast milk to him. And it's actually Krishna drinking the breast milk. But they don't know it's Krishna. They think it's their son. But it's Krishna enjoying their love. They all wanted to love Krishna, so Krishna gave them the chance to be the, his mother. But they didn't know Krishna is their son. They thought it's their own son. And the same thing happened with the cows. Each and every calf went into the cow barn and they went to the mother cow and the mother the cow thought this is my calf coming and they fed their they let their calf drink their milk. So the day this happened, the day Lord Brahma stole away the cowherd boys, Lord Balaram was not there because it was his birthday. So his mother kept him back to do special functions for his birthday. So Balaram, he didn't, you know, he, by the influence of Yoga Maya, Balaram didn't know what was happening. He didn't know that all these cowherd boys are actually Krishna. And all the calves are actually Krishna. So all the mothers, they were treating Krishna as their son, just like it was their own son. And every day Krishna would go to the forest, take the calves, and every night come back. So it went on like this for nearly one year. Because what happened, Brahma had taken away the cows and the cowherd boys and he thought it was only a short time, it was only going to be a moment of his time. But one moment of his time was one year on this planet. <laughs> Brahma lives the long, lives for a hundred years of his time, but one hundred years of his time is millions of years of our time. So one moment of Brahma's time was one year of time on this planet. So it happened that 
after nearly about nearly one year had passed and one day the Krishna and Balaram were taking the cow, the calves, and they were taking them alongside the, the side of Govardhan Hill. And on the Govardhan Hill, on the top of Govardhan Hill, there were the big cows, the mother cows. <laughs> So when the cows saw the calves at the bottom of the hill, the older cows, they became, they, they all started to run down the hill to go to the calves. So these cows were, they, they were older cows and they had calves and these calves which were at the bottom of the hill, these calves had already grown up a bit. They were not drinking the mother's milk. They were not supposed to drink the mother's milk. They'd already got big and they were eating grass. So they didn't need the mother's milk. But still, the cows, when they saw these calves, they all came running down the hill. And the older men who were on the hill of Govardhan taking care of the cows, when they saw the cows run down the hill, they were angry. Oh no, look at this. They were really upset. And they saw the cows giving all their milk. They were dropping a lot of milk as they ran down the hill. And then they gave the milk to these calves, which were not supposed to get milk. So the men were angry at first. So the cowherd men were angry, but as they came down the hill and they saw the cowherd boys, then they became, they changed, they just became very loving and affectionate. And when they came down the hill, they embraced the cowherd boys and they smelt their heads and they rubbed their heads with affection. Because these cowherd boys were all Krishna, they were all expansions of Krishna. So the person who everybody loves is really Krishna. And when the cowherd men saw Krishna, they just, they were overwhelmed with love and affection. <laughs> And the same for the cows. These cows who came running down over downhill, they came to the calves. These calves were actually Krishna. So even the cows, they love Krishna also. So when, when Lord Balaram saw this, he thought, this is very unusual. What is happening? This is very strange. And 
So, so Lord Balaram, of course, Lord Balaram knows, but he, he, he asked Krishna to confirm. He said, you know, I thought these, I thought these cows, I thought they were, you know, great sages or demigods who have come to be in your pastimes. You know, I thought these calves or these cowherd boys, they were, I thought they were all great sages or demigods. But, you know, now I think they're actually you. I don't think they're great, just demigods. I think it's actually you playing the part of these, cow, these calves and, these, and all our cowherd boyfriends. <laughs> เอ่อหัวพวกเนี้ยแล้วก็ได้ใช้เลี้ยงหัวพวกเนี้ยเป็นเอ่อฤาษีในชาติปางก่อนที่แบบทําความเอ่อสมถะมากๆจนชาติเ
แล้วก็ชายเลี้ยงมวยฉันก็ไปเก็บไว้แล้วนะนะแล้วทําไมถึงมีที่นี่อีกอีกนะอันนี้เป็นไปได้ไงเขาเขาคงว่าเกิดความสับสนอย่างไร So Brahma was using his mystic power, but his mystic power was insignificant compared to the power of Lord Krishna. The give. In the Srimad Bhagavatam, an example is given to compare the mystic power of Brahma to the mystic power of Krishna. They say just like a glowworm in the daytime, in the in the night, the glowworm is quite bright. It shows some power, but in the daytime, it does, it, it, the, the, the glowworm has no light. You don't, it doesn't give any light at all. And if you have snow. On the on the mountain, snow in the daytime with the sunlight, then it appear it appears bright. But at night, it doesn't have any brightness at all. Uh, so Brahma's power when it's compared to Krishna. Is nothing. Brahma was thinking he would show himself to be very powerful, but he showed he was very foolish. So Brahma was confused about by his own mystic power. It caused him problems. You give a person some power, if we don't know how to use it properly, then it can give us a lot of trouble. So then Krishna arranged a special display, a special exhibition for Brahma. He transformed all the cows and all the calves, all the all the calves and all the boys who were with him. He made them all assume they all assumed the form of Vishnu with four arms and with dressed in uh, yellow cloth and garland and crowns. <laughs> They, they were all a bluish color, and they had four hands with the four symbols of Vishnu: the club and the conch and the lotus flower and the Sudarshan chakra. And there's a special mark on the chest of Vishnu, which shows his Vishnu. It's called the Sri Vatsa hair, and he has also a special locket, which is called the Kastuba. So these, all these forms of Vishnu, they all had that. To show that they were actually Vishnu. They were not just people from Vaikuntha. They were not just associates of Krishna, but they were actually Vishnu himself. The personality of Godhead. 
ไม่ใช่ว่าเป็นการเอ่อเป็นการหลอกลวงนะคะแต่ว่านี้เนี่ยเป็นภาพวิสโนตัวจริงจากวัยคนทาสมบรมสอบ Then Brahma saw many other Brahmas and Shivas and and great demigods, and they were all there were so many living entities all there, and they were all that they were all surrounding Lord Vishnu and worshiping him and dancing. <laughs> มีเหล่าเทวดาอื่นๆอีกมากมายนะมีพระสีวะด้วยแล้วก็มีพระพรมองค์อื่นๆเนี่ยมาแล้วก็ถวายความเคารพคริสนาอยู่ตรงนั้น All the different living entities, even down to tiny insects, and they were all worshiping Lord Vishnu, and they were all showing Brahma how Vishnu is his mystic power is far beyond any power of Brahma. และสตรีนี้ก็เป็นฉากที่มีพระสิวะนะคะมีเทวดาอื่นๆแล้วก็มีสิ่งมีชีวิตอื่นๆนะคะที่พากันบูชาพระวิษณุแล้วก็เป็นฉากที่โชว์ให้กับพระสิพระพรหมเห็นนะคะว่าควรบูชาพระวิษณุอย่างไร Yeah he was being worshipped by all the different Elements of the material creation, the personification of the different elements of the material creation, they were all worshiping Lord Vishnu. And they and they could understand how Lord Vishnu is a form. Of eternity, knowledge, and bliss. So these forms of Vishnu, it, they were not just like some yogi can expand himself, and it, and he can show forms, but like he, but the. This were actually directly Lord Vishnu himself. It wasn't just simply the energy of Vishnu, but it was actually Lord Vishnu directly who had come in the form of the cows and as the cowherd boys. แล้วก็ตรงนี้ไม่ได้เป็นพลังของพระวิษณุด้วยนะคะแต่ว่าเป็นพระวิษณุตัวพระองค์เอง So Krishna showed all of this to Lord Brahma and Lord Brahma was completely bewildered to see the opulence and the power of Lord Krishna พระนาพพระพรหมเห็นสีนี้แล้วนะคะพงก็รู้สึกตกตะลึงนะคะกับ And Brahma could understand his insignificance. He understood how everything is just simply the energy of the Supreme Lord. That he's simply a tiny instrument, a tiny puppet in the hands of the Supreme Lord. And the supreme master is Lord Krishna. And so when Brahma saw all this, then he he could see the he could see the full power of the Lord Krishna, and he realized how stupid he was, and he. It it was so inconceivable to Brahma to to understand. He could not understand the extent of the power of Lord Krishna. ในสตรีนาพระพรหมเนี่ยก็ทรงเข้าใจนะคะในคริสนาแล้วก็ภาพแบ่งแยกของพระองค์ว่าตอนแรกเนี่ยพระองค์พระพรหมเนี่ยไม่สามารถเข้าใจพลังงานของคริสนาได้เลย Krishna Krishna put on such a display. To show Brahma, but it was 
totally beyond the power of Brahma. And Brahma is the most intelligent person in the universe. But he could not understand this opulence, this power of Lord Krishna. So Krishna took compassion on Brahma and he saw how Brahma was really bewildered. And so then Krishna, he used his yoga maya and he put yoga, he covered everything with yoga maya so that Brahma could understand, simply see Krishna as a covered boy again. So he, Krishna has this yoga maya potency to cover up everything so that Brahma simply sees him like a, a cowherd boy. But now Brahma he's understood something of the opulence of Krishna and he's ready to surrender. Uh, Brahma is, Prabhupada explains, Brahma is not an ordinary conditioned soul. He's, he's far greater. He's, he's the best of all the demigods. But even though he's the best among the demigods, still he could not understand the power of Lord Krishna. It was bewildering for him. So Brahma, he, when he, he, would, he was almost dead to see the opulence. It was so much for him. It was so bewildering. But when Krishna used the yoga maya, then Brahma came back to his senses and he opened his eyes and with great difficulty then he looked around and he could see Vrindavan. He could see everything just as it was before. And Brahma could appreciate how Vrindavan is a transcendental land and all the living entities there are very, very special and very fortunate. And he could see that, he could understand that Vrindavan is a place where there's no lust and no greed. Now everybody lives together peacefully. And, and he saw Krishna, he still got his rice and yogurt in his hand and he pretends like he's still looking for his friends and cows. And so Brahma, he got down from his swan and he fell down and he came and he offered obeisances to Lord Krishna and he, he, he's very, very regretful, very, very repentant. And with his four heads, Brahma's Chaturmukha, his four heads, they're all bowing to Lord Krishna and he was shedding tears from his eight eyes and he was, he, he, he was getting up and falling, bowing down again, again and again, offering obeisances for a long time. 
้แล้วก็ท่านนะคะก็ก้มลงกราวกฤษณาลายครั้งมากแล้วก็น้ําตาก็ไหลจากดวงตาทั้งแปดดวงของพระพรมนะคะเพราะพระพรมมีสีหน้าก็เลยน้ําตาก็ไหลจากทุกหน้าเลยนะคะแล้วก้มลงกราวกฤษณาแล้วก้มลงกราวอีกอ And he sees Lord Krishna before him, so Lord Brahma is trembling, but he begins to offer prayers with great humility. He feels very humble. เวลาหลังจากนั้นพระพรมก็แสดงบทถวายบทมนต์นะคะต่อกฤษณาด้วยความอ่อนน้อมถ่อมตน Oh, one interesting thing which I wanted to explain was I forgot that uh, the acharyas tell us. That actually, Brahma could not steal away these cows and cowherd boys because they, a, these boys and cows are all very special living entities. They are all manifestations of Krishna's spiritual potency. So what happened? What happened was Krishna actually arranged for Maya forms to be taken by Brahma. Now, the truth is that they are the forms of Krishna, forms of Krishna that are taken by Krishna. But the thing that Krishna wants to make is that these forms are taken by Krishna. So he uses Maya forms. มายานะคะเพื่อปกคลุมดวงตาแล้วก็เป็นร่างมายา Just like when Ravana wanted to take Mother Sita, who is the consort of Lord Ram. Now Mother Sita is very pure. She is she is she is she has a spiritual body. Her body is not material, so Ravan cannot touch her. But The Lord arranged a Maya Sita to be taken by Ravan. So this, the same way, Brahma, when he tried to take away the cows, the calves, and the cowherd boys, Krishna arranged Maya cowherd boys and Maya cow calves to be taken by Brahma, not actually his real associates. <laughs> พระพงก็ได้ทุกคนไปนั่นแหละแต่ว่าทุกคนเนี่ยเป็นส่วนของมายาไม่ใช่เป็นตัวจริงนะที่โดนหลับคาตัวไป So Brahma is going to offer prayers. We'll hear the prayers in the next chapter. แล้วก็บทต่อไปนะคะก็จะเป็นบทที่พระพงเริ่มถวายความเคารพต่อพระชนะ There's many nice prayers offered by Brahma. So this is a very, very famous pastime, a very important pastime. Brahma taking away the cows. The one interesting thing is. That because Brahma is the Adi Guru for the Madhva Sampradaya, the Madhvas they they take this pastime out. They won't accept this pastime. They say no, it didn't happen. แล้วก็พระพงนะคะก็เป็นอีกสายหนึ่งที่ชื่อว่าสายของมัทวะนะคะในสายของมัทวะเนี่ยคือเขาจะไม่เล่าเกี่ยวกับลีลานี้นะคะเขาจะไม่ Because this is Brahma Vimohan Lila, the illusion of Lord Brahma. Lord Brahma's illusion, trying to take away the cows and the calf, the calves and the cowherd boys from Krishna. It's an offense. 
ตอนนี้เนี่ยลีลานี้นะคะเป็นลีลาที่เหมือนกับพระพรมเนี่ยโดนความหลงใช่ไหมคะพระพรมอยู่ในความหลงเพราะฉะนั้นเขาก็เลยจะแบบไม่เล่าตรงนี้ so the the Madhva Sampradaya they they don't accept this pastime they don't accept this lila happen they just re reject it เพราะฉะนั้นในสายของมัดว่ามัดว่าเนี่ยนะคะเขาจะไม่ไม่เอาไม่เอาลีลานี้สัมผัส Okay are there any questions ยังใครมีคำถามอะไรไหมคะ Gurudev I have a question Yes Yes Gurudev Yes Gurudev my humble obeisance is Gurudev thank you Gurudev, it's truly beyond my conception even to think shakes me up that uh, Lord Brahma could have even hundreds and thousands of head in one body. It's just really totally unimaginable. Thoughts that wonderful. And Gurudev, I was wondering, uh, what about the uh, the uh, spiritual forms of the Lord's friends and the cows? He they They went back in the Lord. I mean, where would they have gone? Or did the Lord just put them to sleep somewhere? I mean, can you please inform us more about that? Well, if, if we understand that they're spiritual forms, the Lord can arrange for them to be unmanifest for some time. For some time they're manifest, but He can also arrange that they they become unmanifest. Hmm. You have to understand the Lord has inconceivable powers. Yes, Okay, got it, got it. We cannot understand. We cannot understand these things with our material conceptions. You're applying your material thinking to understand the affairs of spiritual personalities. Cannot. Mm. Thank you, Gurudev. เพราะฉะนั้นนะคะคำถามก็คือถามว่าเออบางทีเขาก็บอกว่าเออเขาไม่เข้าใจนิดหนึ่งเกี่ยวกับตอนที่บอกว่าเด็กเลี้ยงวัวทั้งหมดเนี่ยโดนเออเป็นส่วนเออจากกิชนาก็คือส่วนของญาติทิพย์ใช่ไหมคะแต่ทําไมตอนหนึ่งเนี่ยคือเขาหลับไปแล้วหรือว่าเขาหายไปไหนตอนที่กิชนาทรงอวตารเองอะไรอย่างเงี้ยสันนิษฐานมาแล้วบอกว่าเพราะเขาเนี่ยมีร่างทิพย์ใช่ไหมคะบางทีเนี่ยกฤษณาจะให้ปรากฏหรือว่ากฤษณาจะให้ไม่ปรากฏเขาก็เกิดขึ้นได้ในช่วงหนึ่งซึ่งมันจะอยู่เหนือความเข้าใจโดยความคิดที่เป็นแนววัตถุอย่างเราทำมันต้องเป็นความคิดแบบทิพย์ฮาริกฤษณาบุรุมหาราชไอ้ครับ two doubt Uh, what kind of pious activities did the uh, you know, cowhead boy do? And the other one is, uh, is it like we cannot love anyone more than this Krishna? Is uh, is it like that? Mm. Yes. The person who we really love more than anyone else is Krishna. Yes. แต่ในมาตาจีบอกว่ามีสองคำถามนะคะคำถามหนึ่งก็คือเด็กเลี้ยงวัวเนี่ยพวกเขาทำอะไรกันมาทำได้ดุมากอย่างนี้อย่างที่สองก็คือเราเนี่ยไม่ควรที่จะรักใครไปมากกว่าที่เราเนี่ยรักกิชนาเลยหรอกรุมาลาบอกว่าใช่ค่ะเราเนี่ยเด็กกิชนาเนี่ยเป็นคนที่เราเนี่ยรักมากที่สุดมาก่อนอ่าหรือพระองค์เนี่ยคนเป็นคนที่เรารักมากที่สุด when when the person dies When the person dies, we can't love the dead body. เวลาคนตายแล้วเนี่ยเราก็ไม่สามารถรักร่างของเขาที่เขาตายแล้วได้ใช่ไหมคะ I was listening. Sri Lanka Prabhupada give class, and he was talking about when the father dies, the son will say, "My father is gone." But That we could say, well, your father's body is still there. Look, his father, your father's body is lying there, but you're saying your father is gone. And so, do you know who your father is? The father is not the body. Your father is the soul. 
พราะฉะนั้นมีอันในครั้งหนึ่งนะคะในเลคเชอร์ของศิลปภาพเนี่ยท่านบอกว่ามีครั้งหนึ่งเนี่ยมีเด็กชายคนหนึ่งเขาร้องไห้ขณะที่ล่างพ่อเขาอยู่ตรงนั้นแล้วโอ้พ่อฉันไปแล้วพ่อฉันไปแล้วแต่นั่นมันหมายความว่าอะไรนั่นมันหมายความว่าพ่อเธอล่างพ่อเธอยังอยู่ตรงนั้นอยู่เลยอาจารย์สิ่งที่เขาพยายามจะหมายถึงก็คือดวงวิญญาณจากล่างของพ่อเขาไปแล้ว So you lived with your father so many years. You didn't know who was your father. Your father is not that body. Your father was the soul. The soul is gone, but the body is there. So that soul is a part of Krishna, and Krishna himself. Directly came in the form of all these cows and calves, and as the, all the calves and all the cowherd boys. And your understanding is very correct that the person who we love more than anyone is Krishna, and that was shown by that pastime, how the ca the ca the old cows came running to the calves, and the old man came to the ca to the boys. <laughs> พอพวกเขาเนี่ยเห็นเห็นคริสนาบุพวกเขาแบบเกิดความรักชนิดพิเศษที่มีมากกว่าใครนะอันนี้เป็นสิ่งที่เราสามารถเรียนรู้ได้จากลีลานี้ก็คือรักใครถ้าเห็นคริสนาก็คือเราจะไม่รักใครมากกว่าคริสนา And because these boys and the calves were Krishna there was so much love there was so much affection and there was so much exchange of feelings and emotional and Feelings of coming together between the calves and the cows and the old men and the young boys, and it was unusual. It was not like usually. It was very unusual. And the same with the cowherd ladies. When the boys would come home at night, the mothers would feed their breast milk to their sons. Although they're five, six years old, they would still want to feed their, their breast. Would flow, the milk in their breast would flow, and they would feed their milk to their children. Because the person who we all love more than anybody is actually Krishna, but we don't know it. What was the first question? Uh, what kind of uh, pious activities? Oh, what kind of pious activities did they do to become cowherd boys? Well, yes. they have to be pious activities in relation to devotional service. They must have served devotees. It is said, "Mahat sevam dwara mahur vimuktes by serving the devotees, by serving the devotees, by serving the mahatmas, it opens the doors to liberation." So this is very powerful when we do devotional service and, and give service to devotees. It gives us a lot of benefit. <laughs> Uh, 
หลุดพ้นหรือว่าการรู้แจ้งแห่งตนนั่นเองเพราะฉะนั้นการรับใช้สาวกเนี่ยมันเป็นอะไรที่มีประโยชน์มหาศาล The pious activities in relation to devotional service means doing things like, you know, chanting the holy, of observing vows like e k a d a s i and the holy festivals and chant, doing all different types of devotional activities. But particularly serving the devotees is the most powerful thing. <laughs> การทำกิจกรรมที่เป็นเกี่ยวกับกิจกรรมคลิปต่างๆนะคะไม่ว่าจะเป็นการสวดมนต์นะคะการถือศีลอดในวันเอกฤาษีหรือว่าในเดือนศักดิ์สิทธิ์ต่างๆนะการทําความบำเพ็ญเพียรเหล่านี้เนี่ยมันจะค่อมันจะทําให้เราเนี่ยได้ประโยชน์แต่ว่าในบรรดาสิ่งเหล่านี้ทั้งหมดเนี่ยสิ่งสําคัญที่สุดก็คือการรับใช้สาวกหรือว่ารับใช้ดวงวิญญาณผู้บริสุทธิ์ So it's mentioned these cowherd boys had performed many pious activities over many lifetimes to become associates with Lord Krishna. So they were able to go into the fields of Vrindavan and to be with Krishna and to enjoy. Playing with him and take the meals together and to sit with him, to, he was the focus of their attention. They don't know anybody else but Krishna. When there's a They only know Krishna. They, say, they they cannot think of anything else except Krishna. They want to be with Krishna all the time. And when, they, of course, when there's any danger, immediately they think of Krishna. Oh, Janaha. And Krishna, the, Krishna is in their heart, and they're in Krishna's heart. They have a wonderful reciprocation. So this whole pastime was arranged to give pleasure to Krishna's devotees. ฉะนั้นลีลาทั้งหมดนี้นะคะก็เป็นการจัดเตรียมเพื่อให้ความสุขแก่สาวกของคริชนา And to teach Brahma to help Brahma to understand a, a little more of the inconceivable potency of the Supreme Lord. แล้วก็เพื่อเป็นการนะคะสอนพระพุทเกี่ยวกับพลังงานพิเศษทิพย์ของคริชนาด้วยเช่นกัน Okay. And any other question? Hare Krishna Maharaj. Yes. Uh, but, um, I have a. Uh, okay. When when we, when we talk about adi b a u d i k a miseries from other living uh, living beings, uh, uh, let's say our uh, the forefathers, when uh, when they don't serve water and food to the forefathers, there would be some bad reactions. So these forefathers. Are they considered uh, the living beings who can give uh, give uh, give miseries? Okay. ว่าฉันคำถามของโปรจีก็คือถามว่าถ้าเกิดว่าเขาบอกกันว่าถ้าเกิดว่าเราเนี่ยไม่มันมันจะมีความทุกข์ประการหนึ่งใช่ไหมคะที่เป็นความทุกข์ที่เราได้จากดวงวิญญาณอื่นเนี่ยถามว่าถ้าเกิดว่าบางทีเนี่ยเราไม่ได้ถวายอาหารหรือไม่ได้ถวายน้ำให้กับบางพระบุรุษของเราเนี่ยบางพระบุรุษของเราเนี่ยจะสามารถส่งผลเสียให้กับเราได้ไหมเขาถือว่าเป็นหนึ่งในดวงวิญญาณที่ให้ความทุกข์กับเราไหม Well, not just any forefathers. Maybe if they've gone to Pitri Loka, the planet of the forefathers, then something you have some duty like that. If they've gone up to Pitri Loka, remember Pitri Loka is a higher planet. It's one of the higher planets. So they have to be. They have to have been pretty pious to go up to Pitri Loka. 
ต้องเป็นผู้ที่ไปที่ปริตีโลกะนะคะก็คือเป็นโลกของพวกบรรพบุรุษแต่ว่าในการที่จะได้ไปโลกนั้นเนี่ยเขาต้องทําบุญใหม่เยอะมากปริตีโลกะ means the planet of the forefathers so you worship Young Pitri, young T Pitri, you worship the forefathers. You can go to the planets of the forefathers. But you know, one for one who's a devotee, for one who's engaged in devotional service, you don't have to do that. Because you're engaging, in, you're doing service for the Supreme Lord Krishna, and so by serving the Supreme Lord Krishna, then everybody's satisfied. All obligations are taken care of. Just like you water the root. All the leaves and branches are nourished. And you worship, you feed the body. All the parts of the body get strength and nourishment by feeding the stomach. So you simply worship Krishna. You don't have to worry about all this worshiping demigods or worshiping the forefathers or making offerings to the forefathers. These are just material rituals for people in the on material platform. Krishna says, "Sarva Dharma Parigyajna Mami Kam Sharanam." He said, "You give up all of this kind of religion, all this sarva, this material religion. You give this all up." He said, "I will protect you. Don't fear." You don't need to do all this worship of the forefathers and offer water to the forefathers. Is it clear? Yes, Maharaj. Thank you so much, Maharaj. Okay. Good day, Maharaj. One more question. Yes. Good day. Um, the residents of Vrindavan, they must be so pure. I mean, Lord Krishna took the form of their sons, their children. I mean, he treated them as their mothers. Um, for the cows, he he became. Hari Bol, Yogira. What happened? Did you lose the voice, Archana? Uh, so I mean, Krishna. Internet, huh? Uh, hear me? Your connection is not good. I think your voice is missing. Oh, Govinda, can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Good day. I was saying that um, the level of purity is so e it seems equally high. I mean, how do we look at them? Because he became their child for one year. And then even a cow and a calves for one year. I mean, it's the same the level of purity and the love as Mother Yeshua. How do we look at the level of? Love? I mean, they seem they all seem like so pure. The love that they received was equal to what Mother Yeshua had for him. But that one year, equally same amount of love. All the mothers of Vrindavan. And all the cows and the calves, everybody, they all got the same level of love from the Lord. Yes, they're they're not ordinary people. The people of Vrindavan are all great devotees. They v e come to take part in Lord Krishna's pastimes. So they're all 
very special devotees. They're taking part in Lord Krishna's Vrindavan pastimes, the highest perfection, you know. They're very, very pure souls. They are. ก็ธรรมะตัวนี้ก็ถามว่าแล้วเราจะเข้าใจได้ไงว่าสาวที่บรรดาวันเนี่ยเขาแต่ละคนเนี่ยเขาเป็นระดับไหนเพราะว่า
that had, had some effect on him that he didn't react. That was the explanation I heard. I don't know how bona fide it is, but I heard from some source like that. No, anyway. Thank you very much. No different things. But that, Krishna said that was why they had to die, because they did not stop, they did not, they, they did not try to protect Ropadi, they simply, they were witnesses, but they did not try to stop the Kauravas from trying to do such a disgraceful thing, trying to disrobe Ropadi. So that was why they had to die in the battle. All right, any other question? Okay, we will... Uh, Guru Maharaj, sorry, but yeah. just one question, Guru Maharaj. The yogi... I think, I think yes, sir, we... Yeah. Huh? I think Arjuna yeah. wants to translate, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. This question oh, came in our class last time. <laughs> okay, so I just briefly translate that. Uh, พระชัยกุลอ่าโปรดีนะคะก็ถามว่าหลังจากที่พระพุ่มเกิดความสับสนแบบนี้ใช่มั้ยคะแล้วก็ที่กิจชัยอยากจะให้เกิดในลักษณะนี้ก็เลยเป็นแบบนี้นะคะแล้วโปรดีก็ถามถึงเอ่อเมื่อโปรแกรมมันจะเอาที่เรามีการนะค
Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much, Gurudev. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Jai. Go back to Vrindaki. Jai. Jai.